Hey guys, it's David here at Toyzilla, here for Funko Friday, and of course I'm wearing a Funko Pop shirt myself, that's uh, Goku from Dragon Ball, uh, but we're going to start the show talking about anything new that came into the store that's Funko related. Uh, but some, somehow these pops still got out, so, you know, Funko finds a way. That's why I always say. But let's start over here, because I think there's some other Funko product that has come out that has found... Uh, and that would be... Soda! Okay, camera is not cooperating. Come on. <laughs> okay. You have to look at me the whole time and not look at what I'm talking about. Come on. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> I'm talking about these cans of soda which have been coming out from Funko. Uh, a lot of people don't really know what they are. Uh, are they actually a drink, or are they something else? Uh, they are actually a vinyl figure. We opened some up here so you could actually see, and they're pretty adorable. Uh, so we've got, uh, Mummer over here. Uh, we've got Skeletor over here. And, yeah, and, yeah, they stand about, you know, the size of a soda can. That's why they fit inside a soda can so well. I mean, the packaging is awesome. It's a tin. And then when you open it up, uh, inside they come uh, bubble wrapped like this. So you got some play value there if you want to pop bubbles. Um, and then under all that bubble, yeah, actually they come in a bag. Because what's interesting about all of these is that every single can of soda could potentially be a chase figure. Uh, you don't know what until you open it up. But uh, one out of six, you got a chance to get a chase figure. You get a little, uh, it looks like a pog, uh, but it's a little uh, coin there uh, that says which one you got in case you don't know. You got Skeletor. You got, he's one out of 8,400 figures. Uh, but if you were lucky enough, you got the chase Skeletor, uh, which is like a different color variation of the same figure. Uh, so we're selling these here today uh, for a pretty good price. Um, so we're selling them, if, if you want one that's already been opened, it's $10, if you want one that is brand new sealed, like this one, uh, we're selling that for, um, $15, so you have a chance to open it up and see which one you get, the chase figure or the regular version, uh, so far we have a pretty good selection, we've got, uh, Fred Flintstone, uh, we've got <laughs> Bob's Big Boy, we've got Mumra, we've got Skeletor, um, he's adorable, um, and I, I thought we had some more, but maybe, maybe that's all we got right now, oh, Lion-O, yeah, we got lion -O. I think we're getting some more in really soon, so just check back, uh, and we'll have some more for you, um, and speaking of soda, I'll make a little transition into this over here. Uh, we did get some, it's the Emerald City Comic Con or the um, 2020 Spring Convention uh, exclusive soda. Uh, their big thing is green, so we got a green Huckleberry Hound. Uh, we got um, a Scott Pilgrim and a Ramona. Uh, now these, okay... If you get the chase figure out of these, they're worth about $100 each. Um, so I, th I think some of them maybe even sell for even more than $100. It's one out of six, I guess, in that box when you get it, but uh, you don't know which one it is. <laughs> so there's no way of telling. I'm, I'm going to let you have the fun with this one. I'll sell them at what I think is a fair price, which is $45 each, if you want to be the one to open it up and find out if you get that chase figure. And then it's going to be worth over 100 bucks. It's a pretty good deal on this. Uh, so anyway, getting past soda, let's talk about Funko Pops. Uh, these are the ones from the Emerald City Comic Con, the 2020 Spring Edition. 
Um, tried to have a pretty good price on these guys, but you know what? I know pricing is tricky on pops and it changes all the time. So these prices might be high now, they might be low, or um, they might be ridiculous by the time you see this video. Um, uh, just just make us an offer if, if we have something you want. Um, so anyway, this is Toad. Um, he's looking pretty awesome from X-Men. Uh, we got the three-pack of dragons from Lord... Uh, no, I'm saying Lord of the Rings. Uh, Game of Thrones! I always get those confused. Game of Thrones, okay. And we've got the Speed Racer pop that has the trophy. And then we've got the perfect cell. And then moving along over here, we've got... From Harry Potter, we have Tonks. Now this seems to be a purple theme, because now we have Thanos. Uh, this is Thanos that's all burned out. Um, lost his hand. Well, actually, you can, you can have him with Gauntlet or without. His hand is removable. Uh, so these are $20 each. Uh, we've got Zaytana from uh, DC Superheroes uh, for $30. And then, oh, Mulan. Um, <laughs> this is Mushu riding the panda. This was probably the most expensive pop to buy. It was, when it came out, it was a whopping $40. So we're trying to get $50 for it. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but then here are the ones I'm actually more excited about. We got He-Man from the Slime Pit. Uh, really cool translucent green color on him. Uh, for $25 and then if you like Masters of the Universe, we got all three of the Pez dispensers Also 2020 spring convention exclusives. These are $15 each um, And here I this is like really my favorite of all the pops uh, That came out for the convention. We have the uh, gelatinous cube So it's basically like a big cube from Dungeons and Dragons that dissolves Anyone that gets uh, stuck inside it there. And so it's got like, it's completely translucent. It's actually a bigger size pop. The whole box is a bigger size, I should mention. Um, oh, yeah, it's a bigger, it's bigger in back. In the front, it looks the same size, but the back is a bigger. So it's not going to fit your pop protectors that you have. Uh, but it's worth the money. Uh, so this one is $30. Definitely, this one is my highest recommendation for anything you'll see probably tonight. <laughs> and we have a couple of them. So I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven of the gelatinous cubes from Dungeons and Dragons. So, all right. So we're going to take a little break here. I'm going to move across the store very quickly. Uh, and we're going to talk about uh, our huge pop wall. Um, and we're starting tonight with animation, which starts actually with Disney. Uh, and then we'll see how far we get in about 20, 30 minutes. And maybe we'll make it through the whole wall of pop. I doubt it, because it's too many. Unless I talk really, really quick. I'll talk like the Micro Machine guy. <laughs> All right, here we are at Disney. I really wish my camera would switch around. Because that would make it so much better. But for some reason, it's not tonight. Okay, guys. Buy some toys. I'll be able to afford to uh, get a new camera or a new phone. Okay. <laughs> this is going to suck for me. But okay, let's start just in the very, very corner. So I don't know if you can see behind me, but we have a lot of pops to go through. Um, in a little bit of time. So I'll just start down here at the very bottom of the pile. Uh, with Winnie the Pooh, we've got... Now, I'll, I'll tell you, overall, all these pops are about the same price. Uh, they're roughly $10 uh, with no pop protector. They're $15 if they have a pop pr protector. Uh, that's because the $15 ones were in mint, mint, mint condition. And we immediately put them in a pop protector so they wouldn't get scuffed. Some people are very, very picky with their box condition. I understand I'm that way myself. Um... But, I mean, some of the ones without the pop protector cases are perfectly mint as well. Uh, we were just like, you know what, let's, we, let's get pop protectors, let's put them on the pops, let's protect them, spend the extra money. Uh, so, 
$15 to $10 roughly is everything. Uh, some are cheaper <laughs> and some are more. So anyway, if it doesn't have a price, feel free to ask. Uh, but that's roughly the price of all these pops. Uh, so here we are with Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Winnie the Pooh himself, uh, the seated Pooh. And then we've got Eeyore. Uh, we've got Piglet. We've oh, and that's uh, we've got the Heffalump over here. Now Heffalump is a Chase pop, so that one is twenty. But it's like the Chase Heffalump. Yeah, it's like pretty much like a pink color. Um, okay, then moving down the line, uh, we go into Gargoyles, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, so I, th I think we have all of them. Uh, so we got Broadway here. We've got Brooklyn. Uh, we've got Demona. Uh, we've got Goliath hiding up there. <laughs> yeah, there's Lexington. There is Hudson. Now Hudson is a specialty series. And we only got one of them, which was really stupid because... He's $30. It would have been nice if we had more than one. Um, okay, and then let's jump up here to... Uh, we have Kingdom Hearts. All right, Kingdom Hearts, Mickey. Uh, we have Sora, Monsters, Inc., which is a, a Target exclusive. That one's 20 uh, We have uh, Donald, Monsters, Inc. We have Goofy, Monsters, Inc. And then we have regular Goofy... And then we have Pete. Then we have another Goofy. Oh, yeah, that first Goofy was a GameStop Goofy. Okay. Um, and then we have Sora, Guardian Form, 2018 Fall Convention. Uh, we've got Shadow Heartless. Uh, we've got Riku. And we have Sora. And then Soldier Heartless. And then Vanitas. Okay, and I, I feel like someone's hiding up here. Who are you? Oh, Hot Topic exclusive Leah with the Keyblade. And that's probably the only one that was hiding. Let's move up here. We've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Ghost of Will Turner. Now, these are not perfect condition, so I, I think these are probably discount pops at this point. They're like $7. Uh, Captain Salar Salazar. <laughs> Can't talk. Uh, and then we move into Tailspin. We have Baloo. Uh, we've got Wildcat. Uh, Wildcat is a GameStop exclusive for $25. Uh, we've got Sheer Khan. We've got one that's out of the package here, so um, that one's only 5 bucks. Um, and then we have one in the box. And then we have Rebecca Cunningham. And we have Kit Cloud Kicker. So pretty good collection of Tailspin, and then we just have one <laughs> Chippendale Rescue Ranger uh, Monterey Jack pop. All right, and then let's move up here to Mickey Mouse. So they had a really nice run on Mickey Mouse pops uh, for the 90th anniversary. Man, you can make it to 90 years with anything. It's amazing. Uh, so we've got Holiday Mickey, we've got Plain Crazy Mickey, Band Concert Mickey, Brave Little Taylor, Conductor Mickey, Apprentice Mickey, Plain Crazy. That's my favorite Mickey, I, I gotta tell you, because his hair looks awesome. Uh, and then all the way back to Pop Zero One, Original Mickey Mouse, and then Original Minnie Mouse, who's 23. Uh, we got Pluto. That's a uh, treasure exclusive. That's twenty dollars. We got Doll Duck. Um, that's a 2019 Fall Convention exclusive. Uh, we've got. Uh, oh, I guess we're moving to Ducktales. Woohoo! Okay, we got Webby, uh, and then ah, that's all we have of Ducktales. Crazy. Okay, uh, then we've got a lot of Darkwing Duck. Uh, this one is a very cool one. This was, if you saw our signed pop series, uh, we had some signed pops. This one actually is signed by the creator of Darkwing Duck, uh, Tad uh, Stonis. And it's also a 2017 Comic-Con exclusive pop. 
Uh, $45. Still kind of worth it. Uh, and then we have a Nega Duck behind him. We've got uh, Goslin Mallard here. We've got Launchpad McQuack. Uh, we've got regular Darkwing Duck, which, uh, believe it or not, he's $35 now. <laughs> he's vaulted and pretty rare. Um, and then, oh, I guess we're going into Nightmare Before Christmas, which, honestly, I think we have more than this. I don't know where they are, but uh, we have Bo Behemoth. Uh, and then we've got from, uh, what series is this? Doug. We have Quail Dog, we have Quail Man, Pork Chop, and then last but not least over here, we've got Princess Ada. That's from Bugs Life. That was a Pixar film. And let me see, what did I skip over here? Let's go down to Ralph Breaks the Internet. This one I thought would be a better seller than it is. Uh, it's Fun Bun. And if you re remember, Fun Bun basically got cut out of the movie, but he still made it into the the end credit sequence. Uh, so the pop makes sense, uh, but he's eating the pancakes and he's stuffed. We have Fun Bun. Uh, we have Fix It Felix. Uh, we have Yes. So we have both the regular version and the Chase, which has like a really cool glittery coat and shoes. And then Rocket Ralph himself. Uh, Tafia, Taf, Taf, I can't say her name. Tafita, Tafita. Uh, oh, and then here's from Coco. We have Miguel at Chase Pop. Uh, that one's, I guess, $45. Uh, and then from Zootopia, we have Nick Wild. All right. And here we have from Cars, uh, Walmart exclusive. We have, uh, uh Guido. And then this is from Tron. We have Sark. Uh, we have one in the box there and one with no box. Um, and then we have Tron himself, the glow-in-the-dark chase version. And then this is the regular uh, glow-in-the-dark non-chase version. And then uh, Alice through the looking glass. We have uh, three pops there. Not very popular pops, I should say, but it's okay. Moving down here, we got Incredibles 2, Elastigirl, we have Underminer, we have Jack-Jack, uh, Violet. I believe we actually have the Violet clear chase figure as well. And then we have a Chrome Jack-Jack uh, from Hot Topic, Mr. Incredible, uh, and Screen Slaver. Oh, hey, we did have more Nightmare, okay. Kind of hiding down here. Uh, we've got the Harlequin Demon from Barnes and Noble, uh, and we've got Mummy Boy. And then this one, this one was one of my favorites. We actually did a signing for Star vs. the Force of Evil at the store. Uh, we have uh, Marco Diaz. We have Star Butterfly. Uh, we have Tom uh, <laughs> Lucitor and Ludo. And then a special Butterfly Mode Star. And let's see, have we covered Disney yet? No. All right, we have to move up here to the third row. Actually, we missed all these guys in the corner too. Okay, we do have a Jasmine uh, with the glasses from Hot Topic. We have Princess Jasmine. We have uh, Princess Jasmine Desert Moon Hot Topic. And then there's Tiana and uh, Dr... Filiar Mast. Uh, and then we have from Snow White, Snow White uh, Diamond Edition, and Sleepy. There is Cruella de Vil. Uh, there is uh, Maximilian, Dory. And I think that's okay. Oh, and then from Moana, we have uh, uh, Te Fiti and Te Ka, and Moana and uh, Pua. Okay. So, all right. Aladdin. We got the red Jafar as a genie. Make sure you guys can see this. Okay, yeah. And then Iago. 
Uh, we've got this Jasmine Chase edition, and then I believe we also have the regular. Yeah, I know there's no not much of a difference between the two. <laughs> one has an apple. Uh, one does not have the apple. Okay. Uh, then we got the genie with the lamp. We got the specialty series glow in the dark genie. Uh, we've got P Prince Ali. And then we're moving to Toy Story. We got the Army Man. We got Chuckles, who's a, a limited San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, we've got Mr. Mr. Prickle Pants, also a Comic-Con exclusive, who's $25. Chuckles is $35. Uh, the rest of these are just $10. Uh, we got Jesse, Buzz Lightyear, Combat Carl Jr., Bo Peep, Sheriff Woody, uh, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, there's also a Buzz Lightyear floating Amazon exclusive. That's $20. Then we move into Big Hero 6. Uh, Wasabi, no ginger. Actually, we have one more pop up there is from Big Hero 6, but I wouldn't fit on the shelf. Uh, and then I believe we have every single Frozen 2 pop here. Uh, the best ones, I think, are when they're little kids, like the young Elsa and the uh, young Anna. And then my favorite guy, Kristoff, over here is from Frozen 1. Uh, then, oh, there's Mushu uh, with the gong and Mulan herself. Oh, and then Maui. Maui should be down there with Moana Pops. I don't know. What's your deal, old Maui? Let's move you back to uh, Moana Pops. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. All right, now there's room for Mushu. Okay, and then here we have Maleficent. And then we are at the end of Disney on this row. Moving back, I get... Oh, get up on the ladder. Let's see what's up on the top shelf. Okay. Hercules! Yeah! Yeah! We got Baby Hercules, we got Phil, we got Hercules, uh, and Baby Pegasus. Pretty good. Uh, moving up here, we've got uh, from the Haunted Mansion, Hot Topic exclusive, Mary Minstrel, uh, Comic-Con, Quasimodo with the Gargoyle. That's $40. We got Mulan, uh, Stitch. Stitch 626, which is my area code in Alhambra. <laughs> and uh, Lilo. All right. And then who did I miss here? Pacha. Uh, Emperor's New Groove, if you saw that movie. Uh, Elena and Rapunzel and Pascal. Okay. And this, I, I told you there was a Big Hero 6 pop up here. Uh, whoa, $175, uh, Comic-Con 2015, uh, limited edition, Baymax unmasked, uh, without the helmet on, okay, and then, yeah, another Frozen 2 pop, the, uh, water knock, uh, we got Dumbo with Timothy, the little mouse on his hat, and then there's Elliot, uh, now that's that's only twenty eight dollars, even though that's a really big pop for it, twenty eight bucks. Uh, okay, then we got regular Dumbo over here, number fifty pop. We got Eve from Wally. -E. Uh, we got Smee, you know Smee, and Tinker Bell, both from Peter Pan. Oh, and then Scuttle. Now, Scuttle should have been with the Little Mermaid pops, but that's fine. Okay, Let's see who I. Missed up here, we got the Dapper Dans. That was a D23 2019 exclusive. That one's $50. Uh, we get into some of these Hikari figures, like the Mickey Mouse. Uh, there's a Hikari Stitch over there. That's a 300 limited edition for $50. Uh, then we got the red one. It's a box lunch exclusive for $35. A giant 10-inch Scrooge McDuck. Uh, Target exclusive, I believe that one's 40 Oh, and then there's uh, Movie Moments, uh, Sorcerer Mickey that's autographed by Mickey Mouse himself. Uh, the voice of Mickey Mouse. Very, very cool. Um, I think that one is probably about $80 because it's autographed. 
All right. And that is, wow, we covered all the Disney. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Take a break for a second and let's see the next section. Okay. Thank you, uh, Sylvia, for telling me about my camera. I got to figure this camera out right now. It will not, like my finger will not hit the button. Okay. I'm going to try this one more time. No, oh, my camera is... It's not doing what I want. Okay. <laughs> Can't complain about it. Just gotta move forward <laughs> and shoot a crappy video. Okay. So, moving down the line. Uh, okay, I hope this is actually not upside down, but okay. Uh, so... Again, everything you're seeing is backwards because it's not shooting through the front of my camera. It's shooting through the uh, the reverse angle. Uh, but let's just keep going. Um, okay, let's move into Looney Tunes because that's one of my favorites. I'm actually going to start with Animaniacs here. We got Yakko. Uh, Yakko for $25. Oh, man, this is ridiculously bad. Okay. Uh, okay, and then here is The Brain. From Pinky and the Brain. We got Bugs Bunny in her his opera outfit. We got regular Bugs Bunny. Uh, we got Wiley e. Coyote. That was a limited edition Funko and Roadrunner. I think those are like a little bit more expensive. Uh, then we got Ricochet Rabbit. Touche Turtle. Uh, from Flintstones, we got Baby Puss for $22. Hoppy the um, Hopperoo. Uh, oh, this is a Huckleberry Hound uh, from Hollywood, uh, Funko Hollywood. Baby Louie, 2018 Fall Exclusive. Dum Dum. Uh, Snagglepuss Chase, Glow in the Dark. Oh, well, that one's $45. Uh, then, let's see, we're going into Powerpuff Girls. That was a 2016 Blossom. Uh, $30. There's a Popeye here. That's a specialty series that I believe is also $30. Uh, Felix the Cat is just a common pop, so he's like $10. Uh, Mermaid Betty Boop. Angel Betty Boop. Devil Betty Boop. Nurse Betty Boop. Sweetheart Betty Boop. That's a lot of boop. Okay. And then we get into, oh, there's a dragon figure here. Night lights. Um, okay, let's go down to Simpsons. Okay, although I, I should have gotten the other pops up there, but that's okay. All right, Vampire Mr. Burns. We got uh, Evil Groundskeeper Willie, uh, Alien Maggie, Demon Lisa, Panther Marge. We got Bartman. We got, uh, this is a hot. Topic, uh, Homer Moo Moo. I believe that one's $20. Uh, Mr. Burns, Mo Slezak, Grandpa Simpson, Maggie Simpson, and Radioactive Man. That's all we've got from Simpsons right now. Uh, oh, and then Bob's Burger, we got Beef Squatch, Linda Belcher. And it looks like someone's hiding up here. Sometimes we do this when we don't have room. Oh, Bojack Horseman, we got Todd, uh, Chavez, not too bad. Uh, Tom and Jerry. Okay, and then let's get into Adventure Time. We've got Marceline. This is the Minecraft version. And then we have Marceline with her guitar. Looks like that one's $25. Uh, then we have Ice King, also $25. I think, what else? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we have Finn. Are we a Jake? Maybe not. Okay. This Finn uh, box uh, got some damage on it, so it's kind of not perfect. But yeah, the figure looks good. Uh, then Book of Life. This guy, I guess, is $40. Um, okay. Moving down to Rick and Morty, we have uh, Mr. Meeseeks. I think there was a Chase version of him, but it doesn't look like we have it. Uh, Squanchy, hiding in the back. <laughs> the the shy uh, 
King of uh, Blank. Uh, this is the first sound pop we have. Sing on his throne. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we have Bird Person. We have Toxic Rick and Toxic Morty. Uh, yeah, let's see. Crumbopulous Michael and Beth. Jerry, Summer, Lawyer Morty. <laughs> Lawyer Morty, another uh, Daniel Daniel over here. Uh, Alien Rick. Oh, there is Alien Morty. And then a really cool uh, Sentient Arm Morty chase figure. And then uh, the regular version of it. This one's all bloody and it's got a thumbs up. That one is not. Very cool. And then there is Warrior Summer. Uh, Hemorrhage, Rick with the Face Hugger, Western Morty, Slick Morty, Noob Noob, Froppyland Beth, Kiara, and that's Unity, Jaguar, that's my favorite, and then up there is Tracksuit Jerry. And uh, even more Rick and Morty down here, I guess we ran out of room. Uh, Teddy Rick, uh, Shrimp Morty, Shrimp Rick, and uh, Glutey, and Berserker Squanchy. Oh, let's go on and on. Okay, and then my favorite is Ren and Stimpy over here. We got the Chase Ren, the regular Ren. I guess no Stimpy. But we do have Daggett from Angry Beavers. And uh, Toonami Tom. And then Kubo. Uh, we got Fearless Leader, Natasha, Boris, Bad Enough, Rocky, and Bullwinkle. That's a good set there. Uh, moving okay, back over here. Box Trolls, Shoe and Fish. Now, these are definitely both vaulted ones. Uh, yeah, I guess Shoe is really perfect shape, so he's $25. Fish is just $10. Uh, Coraline, we have Other Mother, Bobinski with Mouse, Coraline Doll, Coraline in Raincoat. Oh, there's Norbert. Okay. He doesn't want to be with the other beaver because they had to fight. Okay, we got uh, Rugrats, Reptar, this is S F Y E, and then we also have the Entertainment Earth exclusive. One has a bowl of cereal, the other is Glow in the Dark. Uh, Tommy, Angelica. And then we go into South Park, Mr. Garrison, Philip, Terrence, and the Coon, Mint Berry Crunch, Ike, and Butters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, who else is down here? Professor Poopy Pants from <laughs> Captain Underpants. Uh, and then from Despicable Me, we've got Dave. And then the Gone Baddie uh, 2015 exclusive is $40. Oh, man, a lot of good stuff here. Avatar, yay! We got Appa, Iro, Zuko, Tuff, Sokka, Katara, Eng. Pretty much the whole set there. And let me see. Let's double check we didn't miss anything. Okay, I gotta get the ladder. One second here. Ooh, yeah, it's a lot of pops. <laughs> All right. I'm still trying to fix my camera, but it definitely will not fix. So I'm going to have to do it this way from now on. All right, so we skipped out on this top row over here, but we do have some good gems up there. We have Rosie the Robot, 3-pack, uh, and Jane Jetson. We've got Peter Potamus and So-So. We got uh, Scooby-Doo in the Haunted Mansion, and there's Fred from Scooby-Doo. Uh, let's see, Looney Tunes, Tupac, Dorbs, Huckleberry Hound, a whole mess of 8-pack. This is like an 8-pack of Huckleberry Hound. I don't know who wants that much Huckleberry Hound, but if you do, it's $45. And then there is a 4-pack, Hanna-Barbera Dorbs, Saturday Morning Cartoons. Um, and then, yeah, we're pretty...
pretty good. I think we covered most of that. Okay, but Wacky Races, we have Sergeant Blast and Lazy Luke. Uh, 20 and $25 um, Comic-Con exclusive. And there is Wacky Races, wait, races Peter Perfect. That's a Dorb ride. We got a Little Gruesome. And then a Little Gruesome Comic-Con exclusive for $40. Uh, we got Zim and Gurr. That's a Hot Topic exclusive. There's a Big Gruesome for $50. Uh, wow. Oh, that's a really rare one. This one's really old. <clears throat> uh, it's a Glow in the Dark Gurr from Hot Topic, $45. Uh, we've got, this one's more recent, but it's $35. It's uh, the, the whole gang. <laughs> Uh, Gurr, Zim, and the Flying Pig. Okay. And then over here, we got Spongebob. Uh, Hot Topic. Um, Band Leader. Spongebob. We got Squidward, Tentacles. We got Spongebob doing the rainbow thing. Imagination. Patrick Starr hammering a board to his head. Uh, Christmas. Spongebob. <clears throat> and then, oh, Gem. Gem from Gem and the Holograms and Pizzazz Gabor. Uh, oh, we got uh, some Care Bear action over here. There's uh, one with no box and then a Grumpy Bear uh, from Avatar. Oh, hey, there's the last Avatar pop. Cabbage Man. Uh, then up there is Flegal from Banana Splits. Uh, $40. There's... Okay, I'm going to have to move the chair. Woody Woodpecker, though. I see him. Whoa! Okay, Woody Woodpecker. Uh, oh, and then we have pretty much the whole set of Wee Bear Bears. Uh, we got Ice Bear, Panda, and Grizz. And then, let me see. I think we're entering into a new section here, but it's uh, yeah, Heavy Metal, Toy Tokyo... San Diego 2018. Uh, let's just go down here to the real monsters. Crumb, Ablina, and then we have Cat Dog. Uh, we've got a regular Cat Dog, and we have a flocked Comic-Con uh, Cat Dog. Uh, and then we have a one complete set of Peanuts figures here, starting with Sally, Lucy, Linus, and then Snoopy and Woodstock. Now, the Snoopy and Woodstock, I think, is like the pricey one there. It doesn't have a price, but, yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. So, I think we covered animation. The next section is kind of like more Japanese animation. Uh, but since my camera's not working well, and I think we'll take a break here for today... Uh, I am dressed for uh, anime, which is really <laughs> disappointing. We can't get at least a Dragon Ball over there. I at least one to cover Dragon Ball. Um, screw it. Let's just do Dragon Ball. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can get through everything. Okay. Dragon Ball, a uh, really good set. I'm actually doing these in reverse order because the numbering goes from lowest to highest. But we'll just start with the latest one over here. Uh, we've got Fused Zamasu from Hot Topic. We've got uh, Piccolo. We've got Vegeta. Uh, these are both uh, 2019 Fall Convention exclusives. Uh, Hot Topic, uh, Super Saiyan uh, Goten, Super Saiyan Gotenks, uh, Gohan, uh, Chi Chi. There's Frieza hiding up there. There's Raditz. Uh, there's Goku. <laughs> I think that might be my favorite Goku. 615. There's a 614 Vegeta there where he's got that um, uh, tail wrapped around him. Uh, there is Master Roshi, specialty series, King Kai and Bubbles, Yamcha and Pawar, Android 18, Android 17, Videl, uh, Goku in his casual outfit. And Jiren, and then uh, Zeno. We're moving into Dragon Ball Super at this point. Okay, and then back into Z. This is uh, Tien and Chaozu. 
and then uh, Gohan training outfit and Master Roshi and Future Trunks. We've got a super chromed out Vegeta. Oh, and then up here we got, yep, we got Shenron. Both versions, the gold Hot Topic and the Galactic exclusive uh, non-gold. And then Porunga. Uh, failed fusions. <laughs> uh, that's Vegeta number 10. Uh, Frieza Final Form, uh, the Loot Crate Super Saiyan Goku, uh, Gohan 106, and Hot Topic Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku. Oh, is that all the Dragon Ball pops? Maybe. Probably. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sailor Moon, I usually put Sailor Moon right next to Dragon Ball because it's exclusive. Okay, that's my signal that I've talked too much and shown you too many pops. <laughs> too much for Funko Friday. Uh, so I will let you guys go. Uh, sorry for any technical problems we're having right now with the camera setup. Uh, it's not shooting in the direction I want to shoot, but uh, I think you saw an overview of everything. Uh, later, feel free to let me know, uh, and we'll show some stuff uh, that you want to look at more, more close. Until uh, next time... Signing off. Thanks again.